So too many games is a convention that our management company puts on. It's very big, and it's just a lot of vendors selling retro stuff. I have a bunch of cash with me because I just went to Vegas and I didn't lose that much money. So I'm gonna try to get a bunch of Game Boy stuff for the mod. I'm looking for DMG Game Boy, uh, Pocket, Color, just anything that's like relatively cheap and broken would be fine. I also want an N64 controller because I have the guts that I want to swap out. So a broken N64 controller or a shitty one would be good. And I also need a Game Boy Advance SP and it does it need to have a nice screen? Because I'm gonna swap everything out. So those are my goals and we'll see what we end up with. What did you say you wanted to buy? Game Boy stuff. Game Boy SP? Yeah. What kind of controller? N64 controller and Game Boys. Any Game Boy really. 35 bucks is pretty good. I might get that. 35 bucks is pretty good. Can you see my earrings? Whoa! I didn't I didn't notice you put those on. Oh there they are. $50. Oh, that's a new screen though. 65 for a color is decent. 75 is okay. Ooh, 60 for a light. Oh shit. Is there about one fifty yeah. complete? Did you need a bag? Right. Uh, yeah, that'd yeah, be great, right there. actually. I wouldn't say that was the best deal, but uh, I like to get things that are a little blemished, but I can like verify that they still work pretty decent, because on eBay, you never know what you're gonna get if they look a little blemished. You, you might get something where like the buttons don't work or something. So these work just fine, they were just a little ugly. And the printer, they said that it, it might not have any ink, but it's a, it's a heat thing, so that doesn't really make any sense. But I, I bought it because it was cheap, and I have another one that's also a little messed up, so I can maybe try to hack them together and make one good one. Now that is just ridiculous. Is it cheat game cheating. It makes you cheat. It's, it's cheat codes. It's like a Cronus? Oh, this is for Game Boy. Yeah, this could have been a copyright issue. It's not made by Nintendo. This, this I think, is why they got sued, but they won the lawsuit. They did. They did. Some nice game boys. That's how I'm trying to be. So oh, that's that would be nice. That's a pretty decent pocket. I got a little bit of a better deal on the Game Boys. That's a little ridiculous. My good god. Somebody actually found me and said, hey, Bob. I don't know this person. They said, hey, Bob. They got broken Game Boys over here. <laughs> they knew exactly what I was looking for. Works, not working, not working, not working. That was real bad. But that might be why it's busted. It might just need to be cleaned. The dilemma I have is that I like the way this looks a little more, but I definitely have more parts for a Game Boy Color. Hmm, maybe I'll get this anyway. Actually, don't I want... Actually, I just want just the case for one of these. All right, I'm taking this. I'm gutting the hell out of this. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm also looking for like just a bin of like shady N64 controllers. I've seen that here before. I just asked the guy if he had any broken N64 controllers and he goes, I wouldn't waste my time bringing those. And I was like, all right, well, I'm looking for like, sometimes they have a bin. He's like, oh yeah, some of these places have bins. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, not OEM. It's a fraud. It's a phony. 10? Oh, it's a phony. These are the best deal I've found so far, but these still work. I, the, the insides are still gonna be good on these. Shit, it's the bin. Oh, no, it's not. God damn it. It's not even good. It's $25 and it's shitty. This is the jackpot. So there's Game Boy Colors at the bottom. That's not gonna hold. No, put it around the floor. We're good. All right. Hello, hello. Game Boys, Oh, wow. And these are all broken. Oh, yeah. There she is. I definitely enjoyed modding my Game Boys. Oh, and you got PSPs. He said the only thing he wouldn't was the uh, SPs. Of course, the one that I need. <laughs> this is nice looking. I felt bad because I ordered the parts to mod my SP, and it's a 101. Oh yeah, I, I, I won't do a 101. The, the day the parts arrived, I ran up to the store and grabbed a 01. 
It just felt like sacrilege having played with it all day. <laughs> all the Game Boys are all at the bottom here. Yep. So none of the SPs. He loves his SPs. I don't blame him. I might want one of these also. I just bought these yesterday, so. Like a whole lot? I bought them up one guy. Oh, wow. So how much have I wanted just like two colors? Man. I didn't test any of these. Okay. So some of them literally could just work. Okay. <laughs> um, like, I don't know what's wrong with them. We don't have any AA batteries. Okay. I would like to, like ideally I would like to check. If you want like two nicer looking ones without batteries, they'd be 30 each. Okay. We sold listings on eBay about 45 and I just... What about the advances? Uh, I'll check. I don't mind being cheap with it, but they are online. Okay. If you wanted like two of each or something, I would sell them for 30 apiece, but I haven't tested a single one. I bought them all as is. The SPs I can't sell because I really need yeah. SPs. Yeah. They sell so well at the store. Yeah. Okay. So 30. Uh, okay. I hope you take them home and they just work though. Like, I, <laughs> I know. That'd be great. I bought them as is, so I don't mind selling them. Okay. You said, uh, okay. You know what? Okay. Let's take two colors and two uh, advances. I'll do it. You can do you want? Oh my god, I get to pick. Alright. So it's got batteries in it. That thing's gonna be dead as hell though. Yeah, they definitely. Alright, I'll take these guys. Sounds good, thank you. No problem. Thirty dollars is kind of a lot for some stuff. I don't know if it works, but I'll, I'll throw some AA batteries and see what's up. All right, we got Game Boys. Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy, DS. There's another Game Boy that I gave to Wood. I bought this for 35 bucks. It's a Game Boy printer. Uh, these usually go for a lot more than that. I don't know how well it works. The motor works. I have another one that kind of works a little shitty, so I can try to hack them together. One of these has batteries in it. Okay, should I get a game? Do I, I have a game. Pocket Bomberman. I think I bought this one first. 65 bucks for a fully working Game Boy Color is like, okay, it's not great, but it's verified working and here it is, is working. So it's, a, it's an okay price. It's not the best, but I'm gonna gut it anyway. This is $30 for a not working Game Boy Pocket. I bought this because I fully intend on gutting the whole thing anyway, and kind of just, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have just bought a shell. But anyway, I, I want to gut it and uh, put like a Miu Mini in it. And I, I bought those boards that one stream that I did to, to convert this to this like button layout to like basically anything. So that'll be a fun little project to make this uh, work with a Miu Mini. But I haven't tested, it says it's not working. Let me try it. I got some triple A's somewhere. Got some triple A's. Yeah, it's just straight up not working. Well, I'm gonna gut it anyway, so not a big deal. Not too worried about it. Oh, I guess I guess the next one that I bought was a $60 DS Lite. $60 for a DS Lite is pretty damn good, and this thing works. Is it charged? It might have died. Oh, the light turned off. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, well, it works. I tried it and it works. So I have a bunch of parts for a DS Lite. Uh, I might have to use this to fix that uh, rose colored one that I have, uh, but this one works great. So uh, this was a good price. I couldn't pass that up. All right, so towards the end of my route on the convention floor, uh, somebody recognized me on one of the pa uh, one of the uh, vendors, and they said, "Are you looking for anything in, in particular?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm trying to buy old like shitty Game Boys, just like cheap Game Boys, because I'm gonna mod them anyway." And the guy was like, "Oh, we have a box of broken Game Boys that we just bought," uh, and then he pulls out this box that a box that was like this big, this tall, filled top to bottom with Game Boys, Game Boy Colors, uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SPs, PSPs, and Vitas. And he said, uh, only the SPs are off limits, which I'm upset about because I wanted an SP. And he said, I haven't tested any of these. So 30 bucks, whatever you want, just, just $30 each, whatever you want. And they're as is. So I bought four Game Boys from them. These are three of them because one of them I gave to Wood. They were $30 each and they were, uh, uh, sold to me as broken. However, uh, Eric Johnson here works. They, they all they all work. <laughs> I think one. I think the color might be f***ed up. I let Wood have the good one because uh, I didn't really I didn't really care. One of them was like a little f***ed up. The speaker even works. It works. You just can't see the fucking screen. That's a thirty dollar Game Boy Advance that I got. 
pretty happy with that. There you go, another working Game Boy. And the and the friggin' speaker works. Everything everything works here. I wish I bought more from this guy. I should have gone back. This one I think does not work. I should put like a. I should write on it. Works. Never mind. Take it all back. I think the speaker's just shitty. But it's a Game Boy Color, so I'll, I'll take that as a W. Yeah, there's no speaker. It's like I don't know if you'll even be able to hear it. The noise gate might even cut it out. It just sounds like grinding. So there you go. That's what that's what I got. Uh, that, that's that's all the Game Boys I got. I guess they're missing battery covers, but like who cares? Those those are a dollar. You can buy them. You can buy them for a dollar, but also um, I'm just gonna probably get a new shell anyway. Bing.